what's up bc what's up bc guys i'm working about another video and i don't know what the title is of this video but this is how far i have gotten with her hair i'm doing a little super here and then i'm just gonna lay this down so we're in a process of laying this down um so now um we're gonna, like i said we're in the process of laying this down so you're just gonna need a little bit of gel and I'm almost, actually, almost done sleeking down this side of her head. Mm. So, yeah, so we got this part. So we have that part sleek down. And now um, we're about to do the little swoop. Which, okay, so next, before we do the swoop, I'm going to take my edge brush and get a tiny bit of the gel. And we're going to take it. And you need a hard edge brush if you want this to sleek down how you want it. So... We're just gonna smooth it out and make sure that everything is sleek down and things like that. So Look, we have this part sleek, and you need a hard edge brush. If you can tell, this edge brush is hard. Um, next, you're just going to need your brush, and you're just going to go over it one last time until you feel like it's sleek as possible. So next, we're going to go ahead and go over to the other side. So first, I'm just going to part it where I'm going to swoop it. So I think this much will be enough for the swoop. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put y'all right here so y'all can see. So I'm just gonna part it where I'm gonna swoop it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw her just this ponytail in just to hold it while I sleek down the back and the sides um, and stuff like that. So now I'm just, Right now, it's like I'm about to. Right now, I'm about to um, just take some gel with my finger and apply it to the back. And no, this gel does not. It has. I don't know if this gel has glitter in it or not. Cause I see glitter, so. Mm. But I like this one because it actually holds with different hair textures. And the one, I'm natural. I have a natural, I'm natural. So, like, when I don't have braids in and when I have a ponytail, um, my hair, it this gel actually holds my hair. This gel holds right here. So, like the same thing you did for the other side, you're gonna do for this side. Make sure it's all sleek, sleek, and smooth. And we're gonna take just a tiny bit because this, all of this, this, I don't know if I can see it, that's for the soup. So we're gonna take the edge brush and just make sure this is all sleek back and make sure everything is smooth.
So next, we just gonna put this part that I'm done with in a ponytail. Make sure you don't mess it up. Cause I'm sure they don't want it messed up. So next, we're gonna go with this and with the swoop. And we're gonna before we start brushing, we're gonna take our comb and I'm gonna use this wide tooth side just to just comb it out and straighten it out and smoothen it. Um, next, we're just gonna take the brush and we're gonna brush it out, let it come out. And we're trying to what we're trying to do here is prep it so it can be ready to go like get sleep. So, with this side, I'm going to show y'all how I do it. Because a lot of y'all will, will kept on, um, a lot of y'all were requesting for me to show y'all how to do, how I do my swoops. So, first, we're just going to take the gel and we're just going to put it on there with your fingers. So, you can just get the hair prepped for it to swoop back. So, bam. So that's how your soup is going to be. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take a tiny bit of gel and you're going to go back over your ponytail soup type thingy, whatever you want to call it. Um, okay, so now I'm just smoothing in this side out. Alright, next you're just gonna need your edge brush and you're gonna make sure that your hair is smoothing out. And right now I'm just finger smoothing it. And next, I'm just I yeah. So this part you wanna have control of the head. You wanna have control of the head. All right. So next. Make sure everything is smooth and sleek. Next, you're just gonna put your ponytail order in tight. And you don't want to use the brush because you don't want the brush to mess up whatever your whatever your sleek is. So you want to use your edge brush so you can just push the hairs back onto the ponytail with the brush on your fingers at the same time. So whatever hairs you see sticking up, just make sure you know how to sweep them down. So it's super duper easy to just add the finishing touches. And this is like a 10 minute hairdo. It doesn't really take that long to do this hair unless 
this hairstyle unless you're like taking your time and stuff like that so but if you're not this should not take long and this is a quick go so this is my go-to hairstyle for my girls oh if you wanna know who my girls are they are with their dad this is their dad weekend i miss my babies already and as it never been 24 hours Last time I saw them was at 9, when their dad came to pick them up, at night, 9 at night, because we got back at like 8, and I had to get their stuff prepared. Um, but, you guys, like, isn't it so quiet in here? You don't hear nothing. So you can spend like 10 minutes, not 10 minutes, like 2 minutes just adding your final touches like edges and things like that. And I just don't really take that long at all. So I'm going to try to get something at least. So yeah, this is my go-to hairstyle. Alright, so this is what the final product looks like. Your swoop, your sleek side, your ponytail. So I'm gonna add the bow actually to it because the bow looks so much cuter. Um, and it actually, I don't know if this has purple in it, but this is like a rainbow bow, so it does have purple in it. So, but it's not the same purple, but it's fine because it's still a rainbow bow. And it's gonna match her outfit anyway because she, her, my daughter wanted me to do this to her doll. This is actually my daughter's doll. Um, so they're going with their. It's an American girl party, so they're actually going with their friends to an American girl party, and I'm gonna have the American girl matching with her. So she's gonna have like a sleek back ponytail with the same disco girl ponytail holder with the sleek back pony with the bow in her hair and then a different color outfit and the same shoes. So that's doll number one and we're gonna go ahead and get doll number two ready. So that's doll number one. I'm gonna get doll number two. Give me a second. Okay, 
So we were fueled on Chum Jail. Um, now we're right about to just um. Okay, so this is dog number two. This is my the daughter's here. Dog, but look what she did to the dog. She freaking ripped off her little thingy. So, but whatever. We're gonna. She's gonna be getting this hairdo. I don't know what it's called, but I need a white ponytail holder. The bowl that she's gonna have in is white. Give me a second, y'all. I need to find some things. So, y'all, all I could really find was this black one. Um, so we're just gonna have to go with this black, but white goes with any color. So, um, but it doesn't have purple in it, so I just feel like it's gonna look really tacky. The outfit she's gonna have on, so I have another black one in there for her, and then I have another bow in there for her. So, the same thing we did for. Her dolls here, and we're gonna do for this dolls here. They're twins, so I got them the twin dolls. I got them the twin dolls with things like, like that. So they're gonna have on different outfits, but the same hairdo and different bows. But so I'm gonna show y'all this is a finished product of the doll number two. So, but the doll number two has a different hair texture. I'm at the doll. Okay. So the doll number one has a different hair texture. So the swoop is going to be going in a different direction. But, okay. It's your time. Um. Okay, so now... We're gonna start breaking these and I'm gonna break this side into a section because I wanna do one by one. Sorry, so I already have this the swoop broken up into a section. Now I'm breaking up like the half and half sections. So like I didn't do that for hers because hers was already like broken up because I had did it already. So I didn't really I didn't have to break hers up into sections. But it doesn't matter if you have a certain amount of hair on one side, you don't have a certain amount of hair on the other side because they're gonna get, they're gonna look the same and they're gonna have the same. It's not like you're doing two puffs where one is one puff is bigger than the other. It's not like that. Um, but. So, but this doll has a different hair texture. So, it's going to have, it's going to be harder to sleep down this side because this side never wants to sleep. And with this doll, once you apply like gel or something on the hair, the hair changes colors, right? Like, yeah.
see so this side does not like to sleep but the other side the like the other dog's hair likes to sleep I'm gonna speed this up a little bit so you guys don't have to be sitting here watching me do this so slow. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. He told me how, how he told me how, how he told me how, oh happy day, oh happy day, oh happy day, oh happy day, oh happy day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Big mama, two, three. Here you go, but I don't want to waste my time. Okay, but let me tell you something. Hers, this side doesn't want to sleep, but believe it or not, her swoop is easier to do than the other doll swoop. All right, so we're doing swoop. We're doing the swoop now. We're doing the swoop. Now, but now we're doing the swoop, which I think I took too much, way too much hair out for the swoop. So we'll see. I don't want the soup to be too, 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 So, yeah, we took too much hair out for the soup. So, we're just going to actually put this inside with the other hair with this side of hair. And then, yeah, we'll do this. Then we'll get to the soup. So, I'm going to do this side. And, yeah, I'm going to speed it up again. So, yeah. 